Hi, this is Dr. S. Jay Bharti from Hindustan Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. Today, we will have a discussion about correlation and its application in engineering field. Correlation is a statistical tool which studies the relationship between two or more random variables. For example, price and demand of a commodity, income and expenditure of a family. Correlation is classified into three types. Those are simple correlation, partial correlation and multiple correlation. First of all, I tell you the definition of simple correlation. Simple correlation is the relationship between two random variables. For example, as I already told, price and demand of a commodity, income and expenditure of a family. Next, partial correlation. Here, even though we have more than two random variables, we consider any two random variables whichever we want and keeping the others as constant. For example, production of a crop depends upon many variables like amount of rainfall, fertilizers used, fertility gradient of the soil and etc. Here, we have more number of variables but we consider any two variables and keeping the others as constant. Next, multiple correlation. Multiple correlation studies the relationship between more than two random variables. Example for this is crimes in a city may be influenced by illiteracy, increased population and unemployment in the city. These variables are multi-correlated. Next, we will have a discussion about simple correlation. Simple correlation is classified into two types. Those are positive correlation and negative correlation. First of all, I'll tell you the definition of positive correlation. Already we know that simple correlation is the relationship between only two random variables. If the two random variables tend to move together in the same direction is called positive correlation. For example, as the speed of wind turbine increases, the amount of electricity that is generated increases. Similarly, in negative correlation, two variables are moving together in the opposite direction. For example, if a car decreases its speed, travel time to a destination increases. Next, what are all the methods available to study about correlation? Correlation can be studied using graphical method and algebraic method. For graphical method, we use scatter diagram method. For algebraic method, we use Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Next, we will discuss about scatter diagram method. Suppose we have two sets of data x and y, plot x on x axis and y on y axis. If we get a straight line that is moving from downward to upward indicates the relation between two variables are perfect positive or strong positive correlation. Diagram 1 represents that. Similarly, if we get a straight line that is moving from upward to downward indicates that the relation between two variables are perfect negative correlation or strong negative correlation. Diagram 3 represents that. In the same way, diagram 2 represents a weak positive correlation, diagram 4 represents a weak negative correlation, diagram 5 represents a moderate negative correlation. Finally, when we observe the last diagram, we cannot come to a conclusion that either it is positive or negative. This indicates that there is no relation between the two random variables. Anyhow, the scatter diagram method just gives an idea about the types of relationship between the variables under study. It does not tell us about the quantification about the association of two variables. In such a case, we use the algebraic method Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Carl Pearson is the author of this formula which is given by R is equal to n into summation x y minus summation x into summation y the whole thing divided by square root of n into summation x square minus summation x the whole square into square root of n into summation y square minus summation y the whole square. Here x and y are the given data, n is the number of items given. Next, how will you get inferences about correlation? The coefficient of correlation is always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. 
this is the limit of correlation if r is equal to plus 1 there is a perfect positive correlation between the two variables if r lies between 0 to 1 there is a positive relation between the two variables if r is equal to exactly minus 1 there is a perfect negative relation between the two random variables if r lies between 0 to minus 1 there is a negative relation between the two random variables and finally if we get r is equal to 0 there is no relation between the two random variables what are all the significances of correlation i'll give you a few of them correlation helps to study the association between two or more variables it helps in establishing validity of an evaluation tool correlation is mainly used in comparative study it helps to ascertain the traits and capacities of pupils while giving counseling i hope you might have understood the concept of correlation and its applications thank you for your patience stay safe Thank you.